All right, and in the main event of UFC 263, we got Nate Diaz taking on Leon Edwards. Nate coming in here 20 and 12, 36 years old, 6 foot with a 76 inch reach. Uh, Leon coming in here 29 years old with the 18 and 3 record, 6 2 with a 74 inch reach. So, uh, yeah, he's definitely going to have the, the, the youth on his side here, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's start breaking this one down. Uh, for Nate, what can we say, man? Uh, we're hometown hometown boys, so um, just a uh, you know quick advisory. Probably gonna be all bias here, so um, take it take it for what it is, man. Uh, his last fight against Masvidal, uh, it was a great fight. Um, I'm not gonna be super uh, naive here. Uh, George was getting the better of him in the first couple rounds, um, but. Sometimes that happens in some of Nate's fights, but in towards the third round and whatnot, it did look like he was coming back a little bit where he was landing his own punches and started getting a little bit of a momentum shift. Um, but oh, he ultimately lost that to a, a, a stop to a doctor's cut. So the uh, fight before that, he took on against Anthony Pettis, and that was at 170. Uh, Anthony Pettis was coming off a great win over uh, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson where he got a knockout, and I think that was the only... Uh, knockout loss of Steven's career so you gotta uh, look at time and place of things it's not just as plain as white as Anthony Pettis losing you know um, that was Anthony Pettis coming off a, a devastating knockout and he went in there and handled business man and uh, pretty much put him uh, put him up against the ca cage got good uh, good knees uh, good punches from uh, good punches from range and whatnot and all, all around dominated Pettis uh, the fight before that, because uh, if anybody knows Nate, he's super inactive, man. He he kind of he's only going to take the fights he wants at this point. But he's he's the same fighter. He's always training. He's always in shape. He's gonna be uh, he, he's not like one of these other fights where we'd be like uh, see ring rust for a fighter that's been out for two or three years or only fighting every uh, you know year and a half and whatnot. These guys are fighters. They're they're, they're constantly fighting. Um, it's, you don't forget how to fight when you've been doing it as long as these guys. So his fight before that would have been against Connor. And that was a, a, a decision loss, but I mean, come on, be real. That that really wasn't a loss. That was a win. Yeah, he. I mean, it was damn near stopped in the. I believe in the third round, Herb Dean was looking at him against the cage like they could have stopped it. So that could have been a ten eight. So, um, yeah, and the fight before that was against Michael Johnson, and and we're getting back in two thousand fifteens now. So it's not really that much of a point to to bring him out. I mean, Nate uh, Nate is the same fighter, superior striker like he was. Uh, doing in those fights as well um he can be susceptible like like uh to leg kicks and whatnot and, and leon is going to come out here and try to do that like they all do um the comeback on leon uh british fighter uh he is solid man i don't want to hate on him and whatnot but he's 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 going against uh nate so he, he he's got to get it he's got some good wins he does his only loss uh in the ufc was against kamaro usman and claudio silva um anybody knows claudio silva is he's great jiu-jitsu ace too so yeah, notice the pattern, uh, and then Kamara Usman, and, and so he has good wins over Vicente Luque, Barbarina, and Cerrone, Gunnar Nelson, and Rafael Dos Anjos. Um, that fight against Cerrone was a little, it's a couple years ago, but when I was rewatching it, man, um, the fact that he couldn't put Cerrone away was a little, uh, made me made my hands cl clamor a little bit. You know, I seen a lot of spots for that Nate would do well in and excel in, so. Um, if he's coming in here with those, you know, plans, he's coming in here, he's going to try to cut Nate up with his elbows in the clinch. Um, I just hope Nate's going to get under him and shoot for takedowns on his own, right? And then throw off the throw off the rhythm. And that'll uh, that'll open up more for his, uh, his striking on his feet. So once he gets that done, uh, I feel like it's going to be free reign. He's going to be able to attack from wherever he wants. He's just going to have to watch out for those uh, elbows in the clinch and then when uh, and the, the low kicks from range. Um, cause that's going to be most of Leon's game plan. And besides that, I feel like, uh, he's not really going to offer too much when he, when it comes to grappling, you know, he did, he did dominate Gunnar Nelson when it, uh, when it came to the mat. Um, and he showed a lot of strength as well. Um, and Nate has struggled with that sometimes in the past, but I just feel like, uh, the, the, the technique is going to get, get Nate out of that and, uh, put Leon in some trouble. So, uh, how do you think it's going to go down? Well, yeah, so how, we you know, it's gonna you, go know how, you know how you know I'm thinking already. So, uh, yeah, Nate Diaz coming in uh, 20 wins uh, to his record, 15 of those is by submission. Um, so uh, we know that he can get it done. Um, you know, when when uh, with his jujitsu, um, you know, uh, 
fighting straight out of Stockton, uh, Nick Diaz Army. Uh, Seventy-six inch reach. Uh, on the other end, uh, he has the, he has a two-inch reach advantage on Leon. Um, it's a seventy-four inch reach. Uh, and uh, Leon, 18 wins to his record with only nine stoppages, um, eight decision wins. So, um, yeah, that, that, that right there, this is a five-round fight. Definitely that, that part of it's going to favor Nate. Um, you know, Leon, it, it, like I said, it's been that long layoff for him besides the, the Belil fight where that ended prematurely because of that eye poke. Leon does have, you know, good boxing. Um, he's, a good, he's been using his wrestling a lot more in his later, you know, in his later fights. Um, I do wonder how he. I wonder how he's gonna approach this fight, though. Um, is he gonna try to keep it on his feet and just try to take out Nate's legs? Um, does he? Does he try to go ahead and wrestle? Um, which I, I'm hoping that he does try to do, honestly, because I think uh, Nate is very live uh, for a submission uh, victory here. Um, Leon does have those long limbs. He has that long neck that uh, you know might just get snatched up and uh, you know brought back to Stockton with with Nate. So I also hope. Uh, I hope the goat's in the corner. I hope uh, I know Nick's there, um, so I'm, I'm hoping he's you know a, able to corner him and, uh, and uh, for this fight so that always gives Nate you know extra little juice um, when he has his big bro in the in the corner. Um, you know I, I think I think Nate I, I think Nate needs to um, you know needs to actually try to try to use his jujitsu in this fight. He's kind of went away from that uh, you know in recent because he, he loves he's fell in love with the, you know his boxing. Um, and I, I think he can he can tag tag Leon up. Leon does have more power. I mean, that, there's no denying that. But uh, I just think the boxing on Nate as well. Um, he he could land something to to force Leon to try to wrestle, and uh, and that's where the submission could come into play. So uh, I'm very excited for this. We all know this is the real main event. Um, Nate Diaz is plus three twenty five, biggest underdog on the card. Uh, Leon is minus four seventy five. So, uh, yeah, for Nate here, uh, you know, taking a, a submission prop, I mean, I'm taking him, I'm, I'm taking him all the way around. Uh, that's my boy, you know, we're, we're Stockton guys ourselves, so uh, we're all in on Nate, man. He's, he's got to get it done. He's got to get the win. If he does, um, you know, look for him to get a, you know, get a, get a title shot next, which, you know, that's a tough one against Usman, but um, I, I definitely think he has a path to victory here against Leon. Yeah, if he gets the dub, he's pretty much going to do whatever he wants, should it? Uh, Kamara will have to ha- ask him to <laughs> ask him to fight. You know what I mean? Right. So, um, yeah, man. Like you said, when it comes to the striking, Leon is going to be the faster of the two. But as it goes into the la- later rounds, I mean, Nate's just the superior boxer. We see it time and time again. It's just uh, he he struggles sometimes when those guys uh, are, are super fresh and they're you know a little bit more fast twitch, muscly and whatnot. Um, but once he, that slows down, he's able to get his timing off, man. And, and if that starts happening later on and Leon's starting to slow down, uh, Nate, can, Nate can put him on his ass. And, and why he has so many submissions is because he drops these dudes and, and then they end up, you know, oh, choke me out, give me a rear naked choke like Connor did. So um, that's why he has so many subs, too. You know, it's not just him uh, locking them up. Half of those are knockouts, too. So yeah. could definitely be uh, the scenario here. Um, like I said, man, it's full bias on this one. I don't have, I, I, I full can't, blown. I can't, uh, I don't know how any other way to look at it. So take it for what it is. Yeah, full blown bias. But, um, That's full disclosure. His, historically, bro, like just betting on Nate has been profitable for us. It, you know, um, when we do hit it, it's fat. So, um, yeah, yeah. man, we hopefully we continue you, this. And mind you, out of the 12 of the, uh, 12 of his losses, 10 of them are decisions. And out of those 10 decision losses, maybe only three of them were real losses you know i mean all the others were bullshit fucking hold you down uh you know split decisions you know let me just try to outpoint you know just hold you down that was back then too whenever they they really favored the wrestling that was gsp that was gsp style all the way yeah back when you know he was fighting like uh the joe daddies and things like that you know so uh you know those ones right there nate nate's nate's a monster bro and uh, he's he's ready for this fight and um yeah man i'm li- I'm looking forward to to the real main event uh this saturday and uh and him uh getting getting victorious again yep can't wait man so uh stay tuned we'll uh do our best bet segment and uh let you guys know who we think we're gonna we're gonna put some money on <laughs>